So um, we're here over at uh, the other office, which is my parents' house, <laughs> for Tan330.com. Um, today I want to share with you something that's kind of cool. We have a it's a it's a little tweak that we did to one of our ads. I just want to share a little bit about how we go about doing that and what it looks like um, on our end. And this is how we can have some success buying ads and just want to give you a little insight into that. So let's get started. I'm going to turn around. What you may or may not know is that we buy campaigns for page, page likes on a regular basis. And <clears throat> what seems to work the best for us are those short little fast put together things videos. Um, someone's already coined a name for them, but I don't remember what it is. So what we do is we had a tailgating one running for months and months and months, and we were picking up people as low as 12 cents, and it's been creeping up. We worked through our audience, so we're serving things like 1.4 times now to people, which was, uh, and we're starting to see the price come up on our ad. So we've been working hard on trying to find something else to replace it, and gardening is just super hot right now. So we started this campaign and what it is it's a picture or a video of me uh, planting potted ginger so you can grow ginger from your home year-round and have fresh ginger whenever you want it um, it it did well uh, people liked it it's it's probably not the best video because kind of niche and you know planting ginger roots isn't that sexy but we're gonna do some cool ones coming up but just to show you a little bit about how this works so if you see here this is the this is a screenshot of the demographics of my distribution of people who got served my likes you can see men got very few of them but that's because it didn't perform at all and my cost per male like was about a dollar thirty dollar thirty three something like that and then over on the women's side it was interesting the green is the reach and the blue is the uh, number of people who followed or liked our page. So if you look, we reached a lot of 18 to 24 year olds, a lot of 25 to 34 and some 35 to 44 year olds, but we did not get many likes in those groups. In fact, the cost per like in that group was about 60 cents. Now, down here, uh, women, from age 45 and up got served some of our um, sponsored content, but they added most of our likes. The cost for them was around 15 cents, which is more the target that I'm aiming for. So what I did <clears throat> is I got rid of men and I got rid of women age 44 and under. So we're only serving my ad to this group now. Okay, so here's what happened. Let me just show you this real quick. This is a constant spend. This is my number of page likes per day. And with, you know, obviously with the same spend, we're getting a better price. And what happened here is when we switched over, we went from picking up people, this one was, um, you know, 33 cents, because that was a blended rate between everybody. Because remember, we picked up a lot of the, the women, 44 and up. Um, so, but then when we went only to serving them yesterday, we dropped our price down to 18 cents. So we cut our price per like from 33 cents down to 18 cents per like just by doing one thing. And that was adjusting the audience that I went to. We got rid of women, we got rid of men and we got rid of women under 44. Yeah, you mask. What we did, it was a big success in my book because I'm super happy with that because now I'm picking up people that I can afford again. Um, one of our goals is to grow our Facebook account big. It's just one of those things that I think you have to do uh, in this in this industry. If you want to be an influencer and you want to have a successful blog, you need that audience. And that's just one that we didn't do. Uh, do I like to run Facebook? Eh, it's all right. You know, the problem with Facebook is that you got... Uh, they, they got their algorithm, but the good that, that really constricts you down, but the good news about it is that it's effective. You know, people are on Facebook. They're on Facebook all the time. Uh, traffic from Facebook, when you do get it, is decent on your site. Um, you know, we're, we're biggest on Pinterest, so, you know, we, we like that the best. 
but uh, they're they're tougher to work with. They're harder to buy ads for. Um, you know, we, we struggle much more there. Uh, Twitter is kind of the unsung hero. A lot of people overlook Twitter. I know a lot of uh, social media managers that that don't like Twitter as much. They they swear by Facebook, but I have better luck at Twitter than I do on Facebook as far as buying traffic, ah. converting. See, this is what I have to deal with every day, <laughs> every day. <laughs> And um, and that's kind of what happens. So <laughs> my parents use Facebook. So so <laughs> that's funny. Yes. Well, so to give you a little background, I'm the tech guy and social media guy because I'm the youngest, not because I'm <laughs> that qualified. But we're learning as we go, and we kind of teach you as we go too. So I uh, hope you like this little update. Uh, check us out dan330.com. Um, if you're a blogger, uh, go, we're looking for guest contributions. I mean, gardening is so hot right now, and we've got a huge gardening Pinterest following. Um, you know, our total following across all the platforms is about 2 million, um, and that includes our whopping following of 10,000, nearly 10,000 at Facebook. <laughs> this is why we're buying those ads I was just telling you about. But, um, but that's it. So check us out. We love it. Uh, give us some feedback. Um, do you have a lot of power over Facebook? Oh, man. Yeah, Zuckerberg calls me almost every day. <laughs> he doesn't? No. Really? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> he and I, we're, we're like this. <laughs> so um, so that's the deal. And he even lets me have a personal and a business account on the platform, if you can believe that. So, uh, Anyways, so thanks for watching. I uh, sure appreciate it. Uh, you can check these all out on YouTube. Uh, go find my channel over there. Just search for dan330.com. You'll see my ugly face and all the thumbnails. Um, so that's there. Our site's there, too. Um, go dan330.com slash live. That will get you to a daily list of all of these that we do. We're a couple weeks behind on getting them up, but that's just typical of us so that's going to be updated there and we also have um series go check stuff out we're doing our big you like my shirt thanks <laughs> uh appreciate that brownie paper tall man yeah that's right they uh who's paying you to shave are you gonna yeah i do i do have a sponsor yeah so watch i have a sponsorship coming up by a razor company i can't tell you who it is yet but <laughs> when i do we're gonna shave all this off gonna look like a child again so uh check that out but uh anyways thanks don't forget to subscribe share check out our blog uh we'd love to see you over on youtube and, and the blog and watch me share my shave my beard soon probably in the next month <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that too but uh you know all this stuff that you get it's crazy but anyways thanks so much we'll talk to you later bye oh. <laughs>